What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Chatter Shack. Today uh, we're going to be talking about some strange things that are served in McDonald's around the world. Believe it or not. And uh, we'll start, well... Um, we talk about McDonald's a lot. McDonald's around the world, there are loads of, like, in Japan and China and America, it's all different. Every country you go to, there's uh, something different they serve, like, compared to other countries. Do you think France, they serve frog's legs? I don't know, we'll find out. Maybe they do, but... In uh, Europe, in Germany, France, Italy, and Spain, it's uh, uh, with um, fries or like a burger or whatever. You can get a beer. Now in England, you can't. Words. You can't get a beer with. Uh, I don't even think in America you can get a beer with it. But in uh, you'll be over twenty-one to have alcohol in America, haven't you? Yeah, you do. It's only eighteen here. It is. But in Germany, France, Italy, and Spain, you can have a beer with your McDonald's. Which, I don't know why they don't do that here, because... That'd be quite nice. I know. Um, as I said, Japan, they have their own uh, kind of stuff. That looks they disgusting. have a m- fried macaroni and cheese burger, basically. It's a uh, fried macaroni and cheese uh, with uh, shrimp as well in it. And it's in like a bread crust thing, and it's in a burger. So it's mac and cheese and shrimp mm. in a burger. I doesn't, wouldn't eat that. Doesn't sound no. too good, but um, as I said, yeah, in lo- loads of different countries, they have, have loads of different uh, uh, weird stuff. In um, Canada, they serve fries with gravy and cheese curds. That does not look nice. Now, uh, I wouldn't eat that either. I think Where's chips, that? chips and uh, that's Canada. Canada chips and gravy yeah. is not too bad. Yeah, but, but with like with lumps of cheese. I don't know. If, uh, if I was going to have cheese on chips, I'd have it melted across, but that's just me. Um, but that, that doesn't sound too nice. But I like cheese on its own. If you're from Canada, tell us uh, if it's any good. You obviously, like, there must be something out there who uh, I like chips makes and people gravy. like it. Um, served in Hong Kong, they have a deep fried shrimp uh, burger with breadcrumbs, lettuce, blah, blah, blah. But it's basically shrimp in a burger. That doesn't sound too bad. Uh, like it's like prawns, a prawn burger. It's like a fish. I don't like prawns. Fish burger. I don't know. It sounds alright to me, but I can understand why they don't have it here because, like, we're more I don't meat, know. yeah, chicken. chicken and that kind of stuff. In uh, Spain, McDonald's serve gazpacho soup, uh, which is basically tomato and uh, cucumber, celery, and onion. Oh, that sounds quite nice. Doesn't sound too bad, but it's, uh, it's not something you get from McDonald's. I'd rather have like I'd rather get a soup Burger. somewhere from like a supermarket yeah. and leave the unhealthy stuff to McDonald's. I don't really go to McDonald's anyway, but if if I did go to McDonald's, I wouldn't order that. You don't eat Mac- Macca's, do you? No. I uh, do. From <sighs> Israel. Wow, I want to try that. The muk kebab. Kebab. Uh, served with flatbread, pickles, lettuce, onion, tomato, and it's hundred percent kosher. What's kosher? It's uh, I think it's. Jewish, I think it's something. So it's I think it's a Jewish tradition. A religious meat. Yeah, and uh, it's uh, it's basically yeah, muk kebab. I think they did, they did. Um, I'm not sure where they did it. They did something similar. They did the muk rib in America, but it's not really a kebab. But they did a muk rib thing, and obviously in Israel they do this muk kebab. Yeah, like, I would thing. love a kebab. But I think <coughs> in England, bless you. <coughs> In England, Sorry. everyone loves kebabs. So I don't I love know, kebabs. They should definitely try and sell that here because, I mean, kebabs, everyone everyone yeah. goes for a kebab. This one is the, is something I like. Uh, in Hong Kong, <laughs> they uh, serve French fries with a twist. They uh, shake, shake. serve it with um, basically different flavours. So different, like, dusting of flavours on it. So it includes seaweed, fresh onion, or standard salt and pepper. I think I'd go for, like... Seaweed or fresh onion because it yeah, gives fresh onion is nice. Chips are chips; they're quite plain. But if you add something different on them, like seaweed or onion, they can taste really good. But yeah. they're still Twist it up a bit. Super salty and like super unhealthy anyway. Um, but they're nice. In Mexico, they uh, serve a molete. I think I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But it's basically beans, salsa, and cheese. On a uh, McMuffin, which sounds sounds good, sounds okay, but uh, again, not something I'd get from McDonald's. It sounds a bit too fancy for McDonald's. Well, it's a breakfast. But maybe things over in easy. these different countries are. Um, 
Uh, in Singapore, this one is from. It's uh, oh, it doesn't look that nice. A mandarin uh, rice meat thing. It's like a rice, two rice thing. Uh, like it's like a two rice buns with beef uh, in the middle of it. That's what it is. It's two rice buns. Yeah, but as soon as you bite that, all the, the rice will just go everywhere, wouldn't it? I don't know. It depends how it's made, but it sounds. Uh, it sounds like kind of the beef, like I don't know. I don't know how that works. Why don't you just have a normal uh, bread? But if, if there's anyone from Singapore, tell us if it's any good. Mm. Um, the Mukarabia chicken, which is Islamic, and it's that uh, doesn't look very nice either. <laughs> it no, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, so it's in Saudi Arabia. They uh, introduced it, and it's two grilled chicken uh, patties with lettuce, tomato, garlic sauce, and ara- Arabic bread. Sounds nice, but it doesn't Sounds look Sounds nice. The, the uh, picture, usually the picture is the thing that sells it, and it's not a, a it's great not a picture. Point, so no. uh, so the, some of this stuff, like, some of this stuff I would have in England, but a lot of it I can understand why they haven't brought it over, and, uh, like, I, I can understand why it's all more eastern side of, like, the world and stuff. Uh, India. You can find a McCurry pan, which is a bread bowl stuffed with chicken, cheese, uh, pepper, oregano, but, uh, basil, thyme, and smothered in a savoury uh, tomato curry sauce. That sounds good to me. I would have it I'd here. give it a try. In England, we love curries in Britain and stuff. like. We love a lot of food. We love curries. I'd, I'd definitely have that here. It looks pretty big as well. So I reckon that'd be good. Chicken curry. Oh, oh. This is a sausage and egg twisty pasta. That found looks only like someone s- sneezed yeah. in it. Found only in Hong Kong. Or puked in it. Sausage and egg twisty pasta. That looks disgusting. Uh, it's basically. I would not eat that. It looks like a broth or like a. Um, <laughs> looks like someone snotted in it. And it's only available for breakfast. I wouldn't eat it. I would not eat that to start my day. Definitely not. Okay, so that's some of the weird things from other. Uh, other countries in McDonald's. Is there anything out in that list that you'd have in England or not? The I'd have kebab. the kebab thing. Curry and the kebab thing, maybe the chips with the. Uh, oh yeah, the chips, they looked nice. With the flavoured dust. What would you rather have though? The seaweed, the salt, or the garlic? I'd go uh, for French the, onion, uh, sorry. Yeah, I'd go for the seaweed. Really? Mainly because I'm not a fan of I've never had seaweed like uh, on something. So I, I, I want to see I don't how really it like tastes. it. I got it Chinese once. No, but I guess it's kind of like just salty, so it's just yeah, a different flavour, really. Uh, but that's some weird stuff from McDonald's. Let us know if you're from any of those countries and you've ever tried any of that stuff. Uh, be interesting to see what it's like. I like to give it a taste. Yeah, like because you never judge a book by its cover. It's I guess food. They have to put different things in different countries because of the different taste and like the different uh, like what. Like, I, I mean, I can understand Japan and China, like, kind of thing. In Hong Kong, they have uh, more fish stuff because they they like sushi and all that kind of stuff. I don't like sushi. Sushi's nice. Mm. I love sushi. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Let us know if you've had any of that stuff or if you'd have any of that stuff in your country. And, as always, like and subscribe and peace out.